Hey guys, so in 2022, I did a video about what is called the Global Young Leaders Program. It's a program on mentorship by World Economic Forum Chieftain Klaus Schwab and other people who are in the shadows that we don't know. They select these young people the same way um, Cecil Rhodes did with the Rhodes Scholarship. They select these young people, they run them through training programs, through colleges and stuff like that that we are unaware of, and to prepare them and build them up for a world stage one day when they will become presidents, prime ministers, premiers, uh, whatever type of leaders, uh, cabinet members or whatever. And their sole goal is to find out the most creative and ingenious ways to trick the people to accept the coming new world order. That's all it is for lack of a better term. I didn't include Zelensky in that video, but he's also a graduate of Klaus Schwab's Global Young Leaders Program. Zelensky was a comedian, he was a TV actor, he was also a dancer, and I'm getting ready to show you guys that. Um, but it's not the first time it took someone who was a TV actor who's never had any political experience and made them a president of a country. They just did the same thing with Donald Trump and over 75 million people voted for him. But anyway, let me go ahead and just share this stuff with, about Zelensky and then it's gonna cut directly to the video that I did last year in 2022. So, enjoy. <laughs> Господин президент. Привет, как дела? Серьезный день, ребята. Как настроение? Власть? Это не фейк, и я очень серьезно отношусь до нашей страны, до жизни каждой людины. Вот здесь, понимаешь? Теперь, сука, они заставляют детей в будке ваши, сука, строить. Знаешь, почему у нас жизнь собачья? Да потому что мы свой выбор с тобой начинаем в будках. Понятно? А выбирать-то не из кого. Из двух пи***цов выбираем меньше. И так 25 лет подряд. Ты знаешь, что это? Да, тогда при решении этого вопроса будет учитываться специфика. Уважаемые журналисты, я прошу прощения, я не готов. К этой пресс-конференции. Как осовместить физкультуру, спорт, если хотите, изучение украинского мова. Первая причина, конечно же, они хотели бы видеть президента такого человека, как Василий Голобородько, с такими, самое главное, моральными ценностями. А второе, конечно же, это ответ всему политическому истеблишменту. Люди хотят что-то новое. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Trump. It's an, honor, it's an honor to meet you. I was wondering what you would say to President Obama. You're fired. Hey 
Hey YouTube world, Harvest is plenty, hope all is well. Just wanted to drop off some information to you. Also, let me say thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to my old subscribers. If you are watching this video for the very first time, please hit the thumbs up button and consider becoming a subscriber. So I have some information about the Young Global Leaders Program. Um, after scanning through the headlines and watching some news clips on TV, you know, I want to put this video out to let everybody know that it's all a game. It's all scripted. It's all planned to bring in a one world government. And everybody's involved. Doesn't matter if they're Democrat or Republican or they're from another country. Everybody's involved. You don't get a chance to run a country or be president unless you're part of the brotherhood or a sisterhood group. I know it's hard for many people to believe, but through the course of my channel, when I created it, I wanted to show a lot of people that these things were real and that it really did exist. So check this out. Let me share something with you guys. The Young Globalist School was launched by Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum back in 2004, teaching and empowering over 200 of them a year to promote a one world government, the one the Bible calls Mystery Babylon. The Young Global Leaders alumni include Queen Rania of Jordan, Wikipedia co-founder Jimmy Wales, Google co-founders Bryn and Page, Mark Zuckerberg of Meta, Jack Ma, founder of China's Alibaba Group, CNN's Anderson Cooper, actors Leonardo DiCaprio, Charlize Theron, Ashton Kutcher, politicians Emmanuel Macron, and the former Austrian Chancellor and New Zealand's Prime Minister. And you wonder why the world is going in the direction that it is. So there you have it. As I said, everybody's involved. Now, I don't want this video to be long. I want to keep it kind of short and sweet. So I'm going to just kind of breeze through some of the graduates from this program. So let's take a look. Who are some of the people who graduated from this program? So we have Angela Merkel. You know who Angela Merkel is, right? Of Germany. We have Nicholas Sarkozy and Tony Blair. We have Gavin Newsom, Global Leader Class of 2005. Who's Gavin Newsom? He's the current governor of California. There go Angela Merkel of Germany, Class of 1992. We have Peter Buttigieg, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's the Class of 2019. He's the Transportation Secretary. Emmanuel Macron, Global Leader Class of 2017. We also have Microsoft's Bill Gates, who the computer geek guy, the billionaire guy who's also pushing eugenics and pushing that shot, roll up your sleeve, that guy. See, graduate of the program. So is Amazon's Jeff Bezos with the Amazon Go technology. You wave your hand over the scanner. Also so is Virgin's Richard Branson. Didn't he just try to fly to the moon and fly into space with Blue Origin? You know what Blue Origin means, right? It's Freemasonic. I have to do a video on that. Yeah, Richard Branson is a Freemason. So is Bill Gates, and so is Amazon's Jeff Bezos. Long story, but yeah. Um, Chelsea Clinton, a graduate of the program. There go Jeff Bezos, class of 1998. Bill Gates, class of 1993. Let's see who else that we have. Masuda Vats. Who is that? She's the vice president of Pfizer. How many people you know rolled up their sleeve for Pfizer? <laughs> Man. Maria Bartiroma. If you guys used to watch CNBC, you would see Maria Bartiroma on there. Also, Fox Business Network. See, CNBC, Fox, doesn't matter what network you go to, everybody's involved. Let's look for some other notables. Let's see here. David the Rothschild. We know about the Rothschild family. Wyclef Jean. Yes, the musician from Haiti. He was the Haitian ambassador to the U.S. 
How do you think he got that job? An ambassador for Haiti? A musician? He was with the group called the Fugees with Lauren Hill. He's also a graduate of Klaus Schwab's Young Global Leaders Program. Mark Zuckerberg, of course, of Facebook. Jimmy Wells, who is the founder of Wikipedia. Ivanka Trump. Yes, the Donald. His daughter is a graduate of Klaus Schwab's program. Does that surprise you? I'm sure it surprises some people. To Donald, he, he wants to drain he wants to drain the swamp. Look, Donald Trump is the swamp. Sorry to bust the bubble of those who still believe Trump is the chosen one that he said he was. Trump is part of the program just as Joe Biden is. They're both brother Freemasons. His daughter, Ivanka Trump, is a graduate of Klaus Schwab program. So it's just a game. It doesn't mean bombs are not real. It doesn't mean bullets are not real. It doesn't mean that people will actually die because people will die. People have already died in this coming war and conflict. This geopolitical mess that behind closed doors they get together and they plan it out along with their staff and their um, inner circle their cabinet members, their think tanks, but to us, the normal everyday people, people like us, we think it's real. We think these people are really enemies. They're not enemies. They're brothers and sisters in the service of Lucifer. They're planning a one world government, a utopia, and we're caught up in this mess. Just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys can understand what's going on. I'll be back with more videos. Oh, and the guy, Justin Trudeau of Canada, he's a graduate of the program as well. And a matter of fact, not only is he a graduate of the program, almost all of his cabinet <laughs> are graduates of the program. So you can see why Canada is enacting the laws that they're enacting and doing what they're doing and why they declared martial law on their citizens and they invoked the Emergency Powers Act on a peaceful truckers. It's a game. Please make sure you read between the lines and you understand what's going on. Putin is not a real enemy of the United States. It doesn't mean that he won't sign off on papers to commit war against the U.S. Because as I said before, war is necessary. In my previous video, war is necessary. Cardinal Albert Pike and all the people who are high-ranking Masons and other, you know, brotherhood groups that are not mentioned to create a new world order. So, understand what's going on, people. Continue to pray without ceasing. Seek the supernatural protection of our Most High God. I hope you guys are saved and believe in Jesus Christ because it's going to get ugly. And, you know, spiritual war, the New World is a spiritual movement. They're just using human puppets and human agents to do their bidding. It's crazy. I will continue to pray for everyone. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Take care. God bless you and your family. When you brought the Young Global Leaders Program here for executive education and the Schwab Fellows, but there are two countries in the world now in which the Young Global Leaders have emerged. Tell us just a bit about that in terms of the governance. Yes, um, actually, this um, notion to integrate young leaders uh, is part of the World Economic Forum since many years. And I have to say, um, when I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation, like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, 
president of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, is that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau, and I know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of uh, half of this cabinet, are for our actually young noble leaders of the world in the And that's true in Argentina too. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. That's true in Argentina as well. It's true in Argentina and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the president, with the young global leader. But what is important for me is those young global leaders have an opportunity to come here. And we, in addition to the young global leaders, we have now the global shapers in uh, 450 cities around the world. You know, what I really liked about the second book is, is that it starts talking about values and the principles of the revolution. Yeah. And I think that's key. You know, we share similar values yeah, well exactly. and views on, on the world, which I think it's, it's possible. One of them and that we're pushing hard is uh, uh, decarbonization. Yeah. We're going to launch our commitment on decarbonization in February. That means we're going to 99% renewable and clean electricity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now the challenge is we're going to plug that matrix onto transportation to reduce mm -hmm. dramatically mm -hmm. the, the emissions and to reduce the usage of fossil fuels until mm -hmm. we don't use those anymore. I know you play also a very important role in preserving, let's say, your forests. You have a young population, you have a, a relatively well-educated population. You can use the fossil industrial revolution to create, um, let's say, fast-track growth. For your country. My commitment will be to add value, will be part of the Young Leaders yes, Initiative. This is Merkel, Tony Blair, um, they were all, even uh, President Putin, they were all young global leaders before. Mm. So um, if I take you, if I take Chancellor Kurz and the New Zealand Prime okay. Minister, the three youngest leaders of governments are here. So, I know you have many uh, beautiful things in your country, but it characterizes the diversity, and at the same time, everything goes up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We call it Mount Crystal. <laughs> Thank you for your books. They're really inspiring. That's brilliant.